Hello and welcome to WCPO Lounge Acts. I'm Brian Neese and I'm back here at the Lodge KY in Dayton, Kentucky. And today I'm joined by Maul Sullivan. Maul, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having us. I am, uh, I've been a fan of yours for a long time now and I'm so excited to have you uh, perform for us. Um, you have some performances coming up, most notably at the Northside Carnival yes. uh, for 4th of July, uh, that whole weekend. We'll talk about that coming up, but uh, let's hear some music first. What is the name of this first song we're gonna hear? The song is called Cowboy. This is Maul Sullivan with Cowboy for WCPO Lounge Acts. What a shame, what a shame, what 
The song is called Cautiously. Cautiously by Maul Sullivan. Um, Maul, why don't you introduce the band you've brought with you here today? I would love to. Um, to my left, I have Paul Schroeder on bass. Behind me, I have Alessandro Corona on drums. And over here on guitar, on my right, Stephen Patota. Um, now, the, I mentioned earlier, you are going to be playing at the Northside Rock and Roll Carnival that happens over the July 4th weekend. Um, it's, it's back. It's, it's been on hold since the pandemic. Uh, how exciting is that event for you? Um, for me personally, I'm really excited. Um, I just feel like uh, Northside is a really interesting and fun and kind of enchanting place to be for the 4th of July. Um, I feel like, you know, being an American can be quite complicated. And I feel like uh, in Northside, it's like very inclusive, um, lots of different types of people, and everybody is just kind of um, coming together, all differences aside. It's like a really beautiful celebration. Cool. Um, tell me what day and time you're actually playing, because this is a multi-day event and kind of runs uh, throughout the weekend. Sure. Um, so. Uh, we will be playing j actually July 4th um, after the parade at 3.35 p.m. And actually Alessandro is going to be 
quite busy that day. He's going to be playing with Freedom, Nicole Moore, and I think you are as well, and then nice. um, with Leggy afterwards. So it's going to be an awesome, uh, an awesome day of yeah. music, for sure. Busy, busy. I, I, I love it. Um, now, obviously, this is a great excuse to come see you play uh, Northside Rock and Roll Carnival. Um, a lot of pl good place to see a lot of musicians. But um, outside of that, you've been busy as well. Um, I heard you just uh, did a single uh, recorded upstairs at, uh, at the lodge. We're down in the event space here. There's a recording studio upstairs. Tell me about that. Um, that was a really great experience. Uh, John Hoffman um, recorded and engineered the song. Um, I've, you know, w recorded my first actual full-length record in Chicago last fall, and uh, that is, it, I'm now becoming aware of how long that process actually <laughs> takes from start to finish. Yeah. Um, so it's it feels good to have um, a little morsel of productivity um, to get excited about, and um, yeah, we'll be playing that song later. It's called Deep End Dive. Um, the, the space was great. Um, the room, it's big and open, but it doesn't feel, uh, you don't really feel vulnerable in it. It's still, for how large it is, it feels very cozy. And John was like a dream to work with. Um, so yeah, overall, it was a really great experience. Tell me a little bit more about your album that you recorded in uh, in Chicago, because I heard uh, that's still in the, pro you're about to mix that, and that's going to be out somewhat soon in, in the future. Are these other songs from that album? Yeah, Cautiously and Lamb will be on that. The single is Deep End Dive which we'll, we'll be playing next. Cool. Uh, so yeah, we recorded that uh, in Chicago. Uh, my friend Seema Cunningham of the band Ohm is producing it, and um, it's been really cool. I went up there for a week and just kind of was immersed in the process from pr pretty much from start to finish. We've just been kind of long distance mixing for a while, so waiting for that last little bit of final mixing when we're all together in August. And then uh, from there, who knows how long that will take. But um, it's been an exciting process and, and um, lots, of, lots of learning has happened for sure. That's so. fantastic. Okay, I'm uh, looking forward to hearing it. Um, I know it's gonna, gonna be a minute. Um, I, I think you said you've got some tour dates coming up later in the fall as well. Am I correct on that? Um, yeah, I, uh, nothing is locked in yet, but um, hoping on getting some like late fall, early winter things lined up. Um, just, you know, schedules. And um, I think uh, since, the, since things have opened back up, I think everyone's just like really itching to get out there on the road and everyone's taken uh, an assessment of things that are important in their lives and what we want to be doing with our time here on earth and for anybody that's like involved with music a lot of, for a lot of us that's playing shows and like going on tour so it's uh it's a bit saturated right now yeah. so it's been a kind of a funny process booking things but um but yeah it is it's definitely it's on the books but it's in the plans not on the books I see that's a good way to put it. Hmm. Um, uh, before we hear some, some more music, because I, I can't wait, but how do you describe your music to, to people? I don't think I'm alone in this. I think that there are a lot of people that kind of uh, have a similar uh, identity issue when it comes to defining uh, like the sound and the shape of my music. So I think the best way to describe it is that like it's, it's multi-genre, if you will. Okay. Like there are moments of a lot of things and elements of a lot of things. So there's like, there might be a, a folksy element and a, you know, it's like, gosh, I described it the other day. It was like unframed pop and not folksy folk and like a little bit of rock and roll mm -hmm. and like maybe just a little of country, just a smidge, sure. like a little twang, not country, but twang. Yeah. Yes. I'm looking forward to hearing another song. What is the next song you're gonna play for us? This song is called Deep End Dive and uh, we will, I will be releasing this, um, we're expected to get it out uh, late July. 
Great. Well, this is the, the upcoming single from Mal Sullivan for WCPO Lounge Acts. This song is called Lamb. Thank you. 
that was Lamb by Moll Sullivan. That just makes me want to hear the album so much more. Uh, so I'm so excited to hear that. Um, I'll be looking for that um, in the future sometime. I know it's still in the, in the works. Um, if you like what you heard, definitely stop by the Northside Carnival and check out Moll Sullivan and a bunch of other fantastic uh, local acts and a few national acts as well. Um, you can find more about that online. Um, where can people find out more about you, Mal? Um, well, I recently made a website, mallsullivan.com, and so I'll be posting updates and whatnot on there, and also uh, my Facebook and Instagram, uh, mall.sullivan on Instagram, I'm, I'll be posting updates on there as well. Great. So you can find her on the social media and uh, mallsullivan.com uh, to hear more from uh, f such a fantastic uh, set. Uh, we've been at the Lodge KY with Mall Sullivan. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.